welcome back everyone to another episode of Austria. So guys, we are back here in another episode where, before we start, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you for all the love and support you guys have been giving this series and, you know, thank you for all the, you know, really well received comments about my recent return back to this whole entire game. Um, I'm really happy to see, I'm really glad when I actually see a series that really catches your guys' eye and really does make you guys want to watch. Um, to the point of near obsession, may I add, I mean, seriously, some of you guys are really crazy about this kind of stuff. So, just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for watching, and, yeah, this is, this, the campaign's about to get more fun, too. Now that we've finally, like, established ourselves, it's about to get more fun. Because the next part of my plan is that I'm gonna start taking revenge on all the European nations that screwed me over. And, in true victorian s styles... Revenge means war! <laughs> so, who do we have a hit list on? Well, we have a hit list on basically Russia, Germany, France, and Italy. Um, for why? Well, France has screwed us over twice. They helped form Italy, okay? Which I, which I told them was a bad idea many times. They kept pointing it out that that's a terrible, terrible idea to form Italy. It's just going to cause us all greater problems if you did that. And you know what it did? It did bite them back in the butt when North Germanic Federation and Italy were going to declare war on them. The only reason why they lost was because I entered in the war and went to go to squish Italy. Because I wanted my land back. Alright. I'm also going to get back France for when they didn't enter that war that they should have entered in. That probably would have made us not be sent back like a couple years. Yeah, France. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. Because <laughs> I'm pretty mad about that. So... That's the reason why we're gonna kill France. Italy, it's pretty obvious. They took my land, and I want my land back. I'm not giving Italy. You don't know how reven You don't know how vengeful I am. I can hold grudges, and you're one of those people I'm gonna hold grudges to. Russia, I'm just gonna destroy them just because how terrible the tactics were during war. I mean, goodness gracious, sending like 30. You had like the biggest army in the game. How did you not win the battles? So from then, I'm probably just gonna free Ukraine, but. And then from the North Germanic Federation, they've just been my bullies for like the entire game. And you know, I don't like that anymore, so we're gonna go try to destroy them at some point. And at the same time, let me make sure I'm building up... Oh wait, I can't build up stuff right now. Well, let me make sure next time I'm building up a lot of stuff. So let's continue the game. Uh, Greece goes bankrupt. I don't really care. As long as Greece remains in my sphere of influence, that's all I care about. Apparently though, we're having a little bit of money woes, so I'm gonna have to increase our taxation just a little bit. But, considering we are making so much, and I'm not even taxing my people that much, I mean, usually I'm taxing my people a lot more than this, and people, you have seen me tax. <laughs> you guys know this. I am a tyrannical dictator when it comes to taxes. So for me to be this low, it's awesome. It's really good for my people. Tea production and all that kind of jazz is starting to produce way better quality and way better results. Um, we should probably start thinking about a war with someone. Um, now that we have this good straight right here, that means it's going to be much easier to go to war with some of these guys over here, which I like. Uh, let's see. Can I justify... Okay, no. We're not going to do it against these people because I'm trying to look for just one province miners that are going to be like... Uh, demand concession. Yeah, that's what we need. We need people that can basically... Wait, let me make sure they're not friendly with any of the other Europeans. Yeah, they are. Basically, we need people that are really weak. So that we can easily attack, and so that we can take their land from them. Because that's basically what we want. We want to take their land from them, and make sure that they that they become weaker, and we become stronger. The true way... Oh, yeah. Why would you need military access to me, Scandinavia? You, like... You're at war with your neighbors. Literally your neighbors. Why would you need me in this war? It does make no sense. Make no sense at all. So let's see. We have all these war- dang, there's so many wars going on right now. And apparently we're the only ones justifying a war right now too. Kinda of stinks. And just a lot of things- oh, now our money's recovered! Okay, back back to- back to medium taxes. I'm not- I really don't like to keep high taxes. So, there we go. And let's see. How's our work in Colombia going? Because we want to make sure that we keep that in our, in our thing. The chef mining in Barnett! Of course, mining efficiency, I don't care about whatever happens to the people. That sounds really mean, but it is the truth. Okay, it seems like there are tons of European powers competing for Colombia. 
Um, it's a good thing I didn't go to war with them. And apparently they want us to sign a Geneva Convention! And you know what I say to that? Uh, screw you. No. <laughs> I'm not going to sign a, a pack where I basically get less militaristic power. Especially since I'm not that big of a power to begin with. It's a very good idea not for me to do that. So, let's see. How much more of a balancing in terms of men do we have to do? Seven, think, six. Oh, wow. I think we're actually pretty balanced in most of my armies. I think what we actually need, though, is actual good siege men. Who we can only build one of. Dang it. Uh, dang it. Oh my gosh, why is my money going so up? Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. Okay, okay, okay. Now that we got a little Casas Belli, let's go to war. So Zanzibar, I don't care what I'm going to take from you. Just give me the most you can give. Uh, call in allies. Very likely. Let's just call in everyone and just see what we can do. I mean, I don't really need anyone in this war, as we obviously all know. But, why not? Let's just... What? Wait, why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, Spain's not in my sphere of influence right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, wait, uh, Colombia's not that important. I like Spain a little bit better. But yeah, I was wondering, like, wait, why did they just do that? Oh, they're not part of my alliance anymore. No wonder. That makes sense. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Let me go get my guys together. We're going to go send them all the way over there to the mighty Omanian Empire. And go destroy them without much care. Okay, do we want to trickle the pensions? Eh, they, they could get trickle the pensions. I really... I'm really being a nice guy in this game. So they can have trickle the pensions. And they can have whatever other social reform they want. I'm making so much money right now, too. It's insane. Like, I feel like, I feel like this game is giving me way too much money. Ooh. Never mind. Increase. Increase. There we go. Yeah, just keep the taxes, though. Keep the taxes. I like taxes. I like taxes. Alright, give me one second, guys. Uh, so we're back inside the game. And, like I was about to do, I'm gonna go load up my troops onto the boats. And go send them across the delicate sea of the Mediterranean to go defeat the evil Omanians. Ooh, those evil Omanians. They always plan something evil and dastardly. Uh, let's see. So, by the way, how's the rebel faction looking? Uh, we have a couple scary ones. Like, I don't like the Northern Italian Patriots. That one's pretty stupid. Yeah, I, I don't care if you guys want to be, like, your own independent... E oh, and then, of course, these guys are like, Yeah, let, let's totally revolt. It's totally gonna work. Considering I don't have, like... <laughs> <laughs> stacks of death stacks of death right next to you all right you guys go right here and let's continue let's see my troops my ships are moving over there and uh, no those are those are the Greek troops oh I forgot Greece has an army <laughs> that, that should be like really bad okay let's see what I'm already I already won did I even what wait what how did I win this war? Wait, 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 wait. Are, are you serious? Like... Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Okay, wow. Okay, so I didn't need my men at all. I won the entire war by literally just blockading. I don't even think I got my men over through the strait. No, I okay, I did get my men through the strait, but they barely got through the strait. Okay, everyone go back. <laughs> Okay, so we have about two years to research some tech. So what I should, before I have to like switch over and quickly go get the uh, social science. So what we should probably do is try to take down some of the um, administrative efficiency ones. Just so we could probably get a little bit higher um, rate of literacy. Because as I know, as we know, we aren't exactly the best in terms of literacy. And yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna deny it's not probably one of my strongest suits is educating my people to not shoot themselves or to kill themselves and properly know how to read but it's not quite high on my priority because controlling controlling dumb people is easy controlling educated people is hard so you know it's in a, in a way it's a good thing that they don't have that much power and apparently couldn't sense being invaded by our good friends the Ottomans who I I'm guessing is going to have vastly superior army. 
Although they actually have a pretty even army. Couldn't stand's actually going to stand a pretty good chance, but... I don't know. They're probably going to get squashed pretty easily. Sanction the split of Charles University. Oh, sanction the split. No, refuse the split. Yeah, seriously. Our, our cultures are about the same. Don't you dare start acting like you're different. Yeah, seriously. When you start acting like you're different, you start acting like weirdo. So, anyways, let's just get down to the Gunten Instant Structure. The Gunten Stead Interstructure. The Gunten Stead, the founder refers to a period stretching roughly from 1840 to the mid 1870s of rapid economic modernization and industrialization of Germany and Eastern Europe. Oh, I like this. In general, and Vienna in particular, the era became known among other things, were in particular style of architecture, inspired by neo-Gothic themes and imagery and the new building styles that industrialization has made possible, as well as for rising tides of political liberalism that came with it. Vienna would, during the era, support these new trends and watch Vienna blossom. You know, I liked every word of that, so maybe that will help our economy get, like, better in terms of, like, yeah, please. Oh my shoot, we just had, like, a thousand workers just... I, I don't know what's happening. Let me, like, decrease... Like, decrease like taxes just a little bit more. Because right now I'm really liking this low taxes. We're really, we're really keeping everyone happy, which is what I like. But at the same time, you're not keeping me happy with my warring. So let's go see who are the other little states we should go to war with. And I do have to kind of make sure that whatever little state I do get, I should probably upgrade this and upgrade that because uh, it becomes really important later on in the game, I should say. Because the more you have of these, the more, like, they help you grow, essentially, I should say. So let's just make sure we upgrade all those. And let's see, by the way, when can I go to war with the Santo again? Uh, 1883. So that's about two years down the line. I already formed the Dubanian Federation. And we just need to figure out a new conquest. Let's see, when another major war breaks out between Italy... Ooh, Scandinavia, you guys are falling apart. But... When another major war breaks out between Italy and our good friends. Well, let's see. Can we just establish a protectorate? Yes, we can. So, these guys we should not go to war with because we could just establish a protectorate. We want to make sure we attack people that we can't. Hey, Egypt! Oh. Hmm. Could we take on France? <laughs> I have to be asking this question, but could we take on France? Well, let's see. They're allied with the Ottoman Empire. The Ottomans would not give me a lick of trouble. And you know what? This could pay into a very good... Hmm. They're only allied with the Ottomans right now. So that means we could probably take them. Especially over here in Africa. Like, the African conquests are going to be cinch. They don't really particularly like me, so there would possibly be no reason to do that. Plus, I also already have a war for unification. Uh, because I can claim the Alice Lorraine region. I don't know how I can claim that because I'm Austria-Hungary. That makes no sense, but I can do that. So, we already have a free card as Belli. Hmm. Let's see, how many of my allies would join in, though? That's the real question. Most of them. <laughs> I think if we were going to do this, we would need to have Spanish blood on our side, so... Let's make sure we are actively promoting our Spanish brethren to be onto our side. Because mm, I like the idea. I like the idea that we're gonna go pay back France and also gain this region right here, which is the reason I which is the re uh, region I wanted. Because you know what? All this gold right here in Sulfide, that that's just going to waste with the French. It should be an arm empire. So, since we can't go to war with them yet, let's go think of some other people to go to war with. Um, I've been drastically thinking about going to war with Dainam, but Dainam seems to be having fun right now destroying China. And the more destroyed China is, the better it is for us in the long run. So, maybe what we should do... <gasps> oh, dang it! I thought... Uh, for a moment there, I thought that it was broken out from, like, the main Queen Empire... From the main Qing Empire. I was gonna go try to swoop that up. But, maybe what we should go try to do is go attack some of these, like, little... Little guys over here. The only thing is that I hate establishing a, a like Asian empire because it kind of does get a little bit annoying at some points to try to manage. But <gasps> never mind. <laughs> anyone tried? Anyone try to be friendly with these guys? Nope. Okay, I'm definitely declaring war on them. <laughs> okay, fast forward, guys. Fast forward. Okay. Uh, also, build some new units to start. We want to start making the new European style. 
just so that we have more units um, also have you guys go right here and we're gonna go send you guys all the way down there to uh, go facilitate a uh, good memory of our empire in the hearts of the Japorian people Japorian people okay you guys get on the boats and you guys I guess we're gonna launch from this point so let's go right there first then from there once it gets a little bit closer to the date then we'll declare war and we'll do much more fun stuff I should say alright and let's see in Europe is there anything else I need to kind of be worrying about well Austria, let's see in terms of power I'm actually wow that was really quick <laughs> like, seriously that was huh I didn't expect that so we have an instant j conquest of Japur wait you guys own this huh wait what Okay, so uh, you have some ports on here. Oh, okay. I thought you guys were like saying you guys owned all that. I was like, what? When did Japor actually do something in this game? That was kind of weird there for a second. Okay, oh, canned food. Uh, you know, it, as long as the poor are not beating my butt about something, I'm happy of that. Okay? The more they don't realize how poor how poor the country is and how much we really don't care about them, the more I live, the more I'm in power, so. It's all good in a sense. Uh, oh, do I want to? I, I don't really care about my aristocrats. My aristocrats can go somewhere. Okay. So since I actually don't, well, actually, I still probably need to like go into the C zone. Um, you guys go down like by one. Dang, oh, man, that's so low. Thirty-five percent. I might be able to get like two percent by the end of this game. It's so weird. And these guys just keep swapping back between like being really happy and really dead. I don't understand the constant change also where's this place with like 7,000 people this is really annoying me okay produce bronze I'll support it sheesh like all these factory workers are just out of a job it's annoying hi oh, man the, the the pains of running an empire people the pains of running an empire I swear so let's see whoever you're allied with it's probably gonna be England I don't care we're gonna declare war on you so establish protectorate boom yeah, because even it doesn't even even if you try to fight me back, I'm going to win. This is the sad part about this is that no matter how much they try, oh they actually did they put together a decent sized you know coalition. Okay, for some me just like sit here for a second. Yeah, I guess we can just heal up right here. So sit here for a second. All right, now let's go all the way over there. Go, my men, go. And at this point, I probably should start to build more advanced uh, build ships but I think I still have to get the actual technology to do that so maybe we could probably sneak in some Navy technology before 1880 that would be nice I mean that'd be serious and nice if we could sneak in some like that stuff chemical wool pump yay I guess and apparently we're now the second biggest military in the world ding ding I like that so let's see, get some navy, get some steamers, okay, let's get some of this tech down. Because that's really important. Especially for colonial power, which we are apparently going for in this game. Let's go make our new army over here, which is going to be entitled Army... I don't know, I don't know any good clever names. Alright, but Spain, you guys are going to be so used against the French. With you guys, okay, let's see that, I can't, this is, this is going to make my mouth real soft. With us... All of these guys and these guys, we're going to easily be able to beat the French. I mean, the Ottomans might do some stuff, but really, they're just going... If they do anything, these guys are going to gobble them up. So, that's going to be fun. Over here, they reached... You guys almost there? Yeah, it's going to take you guys a little bit. Let's see. Some of you guys are collapsing. Uh, yeah, you guys can collapse that. I don't really know why you guys would build in a place that doesn't have any workers, but... Hey, you guys are the smart ones here. Slovakia, I think we can finally start increasing just craftsmen. <laughs> I mean, it's weird for me to say, but yeah, we can finally just increase in craftsmen. Johor, and Johor is about to be doing, it's about to go boom boom, guys. Let's just say that. It's about to go boom. Oh my gosh, 2.2 million, and I'm not even at the end of the game yet. Wow, I'm making good money. Okay, so let's get this, carry these guys, go, go on to the shore. <laughs> oh, you guys are so dead. <laughs> like, so dead. 
Okay, let's just get these guys underneath our control that way our ships don't die. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.